Welcome and thank you for stopping by, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret right now. This is by far the strongest quietly broken piece of hero equipment in the game. The combination you're about to see these professional players put into work is what we probably all should be doing. And that is not just the Royal Champion along with the Spirit Fox, but we will watch the Royal Champion's new Haste Vial absolutely annihilate base after base after base. And we are going to fast forward to the good stuff. That's right, keeping the episodes short and sweet and to the point right here. Watch for the Royal Champion. There you can see inside the red circle. This is going to be the Haste Vial combined with the Seeking Shield. And no, this is not sped up. This is just her going super, super fast all through these different defenses and getting everything annihilated. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It is insane. And we're going to watch this again and again in today's episode. And like I said, we're going to skip through the, the boring stuff. We're going to get you right down to the good stuff. That's like, you know, using creator code Galadon. How good that is. How much it helps to keep the channel going. Thank you guys that are using code Galadon before you make a purchase in any Supercell game. But that's it. First attack is done. We're going to move on. Like I said, we're just going to fast forward to the good parts. Watch this Seeking Shield in combination with the, of course, maxed out haste vial that Tribe Gaming is using. So here we are late in an attack, and yes, the Town Hall not down yet. Watch the annihilation of the Town Hall. As we get ready, we will zoom in, and I'll give you a quick second. We can all focus and find right about uh, there. There she is, the Royal Champion. So in comes the Seeking Shield and the Haste File at the same time right there. And now watch her just absolutely fly down to the Town Hall. And yeah, okay. There's a lot of hit points in that Town Hall, but she's gone. She's practically off the screen after the last defense. And there's another three star. I'm telling you, this piece of hero equipment is underrated. Everybody is talking about everything else. The vamp stash, the giant gauntlet, the frozen arrow, the fireball for the Grand Warden. But wait, yes, the Royal Champion's haste vial is crazy, especially when combined with the Spirit Fox. So once again, late in the attack, freeze the frame right there. There she is on the lower left-hand side and get ready because again, the Seeking Shield, and there's the Seeking Shield. She moves on to the Ricochet Cannon, annihilates that onto the Expo, annihilates that. Then she's going to go on to the Archer Tower. I'm telling you right now, it's crazy. It almost looks comical how fast she goes through these defenses. And yeah, I mean, obviously, these are all professionally executed attacks by guys from Tribe. But if they know what they're doing, perhaps the rest of us should be following suit. One last attack, late in the attack. We move on, we freeze the frame, and there she is. She's at the top right. She's just about to take out a whole series of defenses that are frozen. There's the rage spell, here's the ability, and yeah, it's hilarious to watch her in action, especially if you're not accustomed to seeing her move that quickly. And again, annihilated base, easy. Of course, the rest of the attack was well executed as well, but hey, if there's a little piece of advantage that we can gain simply by copying the pros, even if we don't have the rest of their skill set, then I say we should be using the Haste Vial and the Seeking Shield on the Royal Champion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and if you give it a try, thank you, Galifant, for sticking around all the way to the end of this brief episode. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year, be kind to other people, animals, and the planets, and I hope to see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks, or tonight on kick.com slash Galadon for an epic Clash livestream. Spinning. I mean, more than usual, you know.